live right now, aren't we? I'm gonna pretend none of that happened. Hey everybody, my name is Curtis Jones, Silver Sneaker instructor here at the Glenwood Y for the YMCA of Grady Erie, and it's time for Silver Sneakers Classic today. So we're gonna make this a miraculous Monday, making sure we have a great start to our week. So I hope you guys are ready for a great class, because I know I am. So, before we get started, always make sure that you keep yourself hydrated, water, at the very most, maybe Gatorade. You want to make sure that you're replenishing those electrolytes and the fluids that you lose when you sweat. And we always want to make sure that we are keeping ourselves nice and cool during this, if we're doing this at home. So be mindful of that. Remember, if you are in fact going to be taking this class with us here, make sure that you put your first and last name in the comments of this video. That way we can give you credit in our system. Also, as a reminder, we are also going to be uh, having outdoor classes. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 8 a.m. Make sure that you either come into the YMCA facility or you can register online at ymcaerie.org. And always make sure whether you're coming in to do the class or you're doing them, uh, or if you're going to be coming into the facility for your own private workout. Make sure that you're filling out those COVID-19 waivers. Very important that if you have not done so yet, that you either do that online or you can come into the facility and do that. But again, we are going to be having, we have posted online uh, the different times that we're going to be doing outdoor classes. So th if that's something you're interested in doing, being able to actually come out and interact socially distant, in, of course, and that's going to be an option for you as well. But we will continue to have these online virtual courses together. That way, if you don't feel as comfortable coming out or you just really like being able to do workouts from your own home, then that's going to be perfect too. But before we get started with any of that, we always have to do our posture exercises. So, so here we're going to do a couple of things. If you can sit in your chair, if you uh, can't come out of your chair, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to go up against the walls to start first, making sure that we have our spine in nice neutral alignment, the back of our head, shoulder blades, our butt, and our heels against the wall, making sure that spine is in nice neutral alignment. Take a couple breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Great job. Now I'm going to have you step off of the wall. Now, you have an idea of what your spine is to be like now that you've been up, like, up against the wall. Now step forward a little bit and try to replicate that posture on your own. So you always want to make sure you have a nice strong, relaxed posture. Strong doesn't mean like super strict or super having your chest out this way. And relaxed doesn't mean you're rounding your shoulders. You want to be in a nice neutral position where you're nice and upright, but you're also not overly exerted. You're not overstretching, super extending your chest out, but you just want to make sure that your chest is up, shoulder blades are back in a nice neutral position. So whenever we do certain standing exercises, this is the posture you want to take. All right, and now we're going to move on to the chair. When doing exercises in the chair, unless I specify otherwise, you don't want to be leaning back in your chair. You want to make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall, just like you were when you were standing. Feet nice and planted firmly on the ground. If the, when the music starts to play, if you feel the insult inclined to tap your toes, by all means do so. But again, shoulders back, chest up, engaging that core, making sure that those abs are nice and tight, helping us get a sense of our posture. Now let's just hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, everybody. Now that we've got posture out of the way, let's go ahead and get these warm-ups going. But before we do that, we gotta make sure we have our music. Keep it going. Open those arms. Keep that chest up. 
keeps it moving. All right. Now, make a diamond out in front of you. Place your palm forward, toward the ground. And we're going to bring our elbows back toward the room right here. Back of the room. Feel that squeeze in your shoulder blades. Keep going. Keep moving. Keep it going. Here we go. Hands up, hands up. Up and down. Working the range of motion in our shoulders. Stretching in those muscles around the rotator cuff. Keep it going. Up and down. Up and down. Continue in the march in place. Getting that heart rate up. Getting the body nice and warm. Four. Three, back to pumping those arms. Continue to march. I always start with the march because again, it gets the entire body incorporated. You're moving your arms, getting those legs going, engaging your core. So you have nice posture, shoulders back, chest up. And getting that whole body involved. On my cue, we're gonna go ahead and step and tap those toes forward. Work those ankle joints. Here we go. Tap forward right here. Tap. Keep going. Continue to keep those arms moving. Keep moving. On my cue, we're going to bring our toes to the back and bring our arms forward. Again, just working a range of motion in our shoulders. In four, three, two, toes back, arms forward. And remember, you get those arms as high as you can. If they can't go up very high, that's perfectly okay. This is about you. And besides, I can't necessarily see you, no one else can see you. So, do what you can to make sure you're keeping that good form. Keep going. Back to march it, march it out. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and incorporate that torso. Let's go ahead and twist side to side, reaching our arms to each side. Here we go, in four, three, two, and twist. Keep going. Doing great. And notice how I turn my knees in, take any pressure or torque out of the knee. Keep it going. Four, three, two. Great job. Before you take a seat, how, just give me three good deep breaths. Let's breathe it in. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. So again, breathe in, exhale, great job. Go ahead and take a seat in your chair for me. I want you sitting up nice and tall, don't sit back in your chair just yet. I want you to go ahead and tap those toes. Again, working those ankle joints, go ahead and tap. Take some time to grab the crank if you need to. Dancing in the street, dancing in your chair, if you'd like, on my cue, switch to your heels, tap your heels right here. Working those lower leg muscles, working the ankles, kind of get those calf muscles involved. Keep it going. On my cue, we're going to alternate heel to toe. Seven, six, five. 
four, three, alternate with your toe. Again, don't sit back in your chair, tempting as it is. Take a nice control in your chair, get that nice posture. Keep it going. And rest. Now, I'm going to have you go ahead and keep out your legs a couple of times. Getting a little bit of mobility and movement in the knees. Activating those knee movements a little bit. Great job. How do you make your spine nice and long? Bring your hands up all the way. Wiggle those fingers. Raise up those arms as high as you can. Straighten up that spine. And come on down. Give yourself a nice big old hug. Reach those hands back. Tight squeeze.
if you see like the pistons on a train moving, they're not short and stoppy, but it's always a one fluid motion. So for example, with a bicep curl, you, if we're going to come up for three, if we're going to come up one and then down for three, when we come down, it's not short and stoppy this thing. You want it to be one fluid motion. Taking your time, alright? Keep that in mind. Again, make yourself a well-oiled machine. Here we go. Bicep curl. Up one. One. Slowly down to three. Up. Slowly down to three. Bring this leg for a bicep muscle. Here we go. Two and two. One. Two. Down. And notice how when I do this, my elbow stays right at my side. Okay. Up. Here we go. Up for three. Well oiled machine. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three. And making sure that we're not letting momentum take over. One, two, three. Great job. We're going to move on to 16. Give you as many as you can. Alright, and remember, you can alternate if you would like. It would be up to you. Here we go. Start below. First eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Make sure you breathe. You exhale whenever you exert force. And this exercise would be the lifting up. Squeeze those arms. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. Shake out the arms. Grab a drink if you need to. And again, a reminder to put your first and last name in the comments of this video. All right. Now, we work the front of the arm, the bicep. Now we're going to work the back of the arm with tricep. I'm going to turn to my side to show you the form. Again, feel free to sit in your chair or stand. It's completely up to you. But we're going to, just like the row, but similar position as a row. We're going to bring a weight to our side here. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep our elbows in place. Like we're dumping a pitcher of water behind us. We're moving just the forearm and then coming back forward. All right? Start in that position. Weights up at your hips. Here we go. Back one right here. One. We'll work for three. Let me stand up and turn to my side to show you. And notice how I'm not bringing them back too far. Just so I can feel that tension. Two and two. Just so I feel the tension in my tricep. Back the arm. Alright, extend, one, two, three, then eight. So we extend this way and retract going the other way. So extend, retract, extend, great job. Now, we're going to do that again, 16 times. Again, this is to push those muscles to fatigue. If you can't do all 16, that is okay. Do as many of these as you can. Here we go. First eight, eight, seven. And notice how I'm not letting momentum take over. I have a pause in the back and a pause in the front. And feel free to alternate. Last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shoulders back. Great job, everybody. Shake out the arms. Alright, next, we're going to go ahead, attach those bands to the back of your chair if you have bands. If you don't, that's perfectly okay. 
You can still do these next exercises with a light weight.
Eight more right here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Shake out the arms. Shoulders back. Whew. Take the time now. Grab a drink if you need to.
relent. Now, this is where the part where some of you might hate me. You guys are on the opposite side of the screen, and I can't see you, so you guys can't get to me, so we're going to do these anyway. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quad burnout, is what I like to call it. Sitting back in our chair, what we're going to do is, again, that short range of motion, we're going to go a 16 count. So it's going to be a pulsing motion. It's going to be eight, seven. That's what we're going to do, all right? Mentally prepare yourself. Feel free to say out loud, Curtis, we make you. I can't hear you, so it's not like, not like I can hear it. First eight. Eight, seven. Keep it going. Four. Three.
Surfer, eight. Go 
go again, go again. One, two. Now, if you'd like to, we're going to have to pick up your seat a little bit. Right here. One. everybody be proud of the work that you did today we're going to do a couple of stretches here and I always like to like I said I always like to make sure that we kind of set the atmosphere so always about exercise and fitness being more than just your physical body but it's also mental spiritual emotional I want to make sure that all of that is incorporated
that stretch on the left side of your glute all the way down the back of that left leg. Feel that stretch. Come forward a little bit. Keeping that leg straight, protecting that lower spine. I now would like you to take your right hand and reach toward the left. If you can touch your toes, great. If you can't, it's perfectly okay. I'm more focused on the stretch in the back of the leg, but there's also going to be a little bit of a uh, deeper stretch, but also working the flexibility. Four, three, two, one. Come on up. Let's switch to the opposite leg now. Right leg out. Keep that leg straight. Toes toward the sky. Heels in the ground. Forward, feel it deep in that stretch. Keep that upper body, keep that top of the spine nice and straight. Breathe into the nose, out of the mouth. Let's now take that left hand, reach it over deep in that stretch, hinge forward a little bit more as best you can. Nice deep stretch in the back of that leg.